Thank you so much for staying with us on iBrand Daybreak. It is time for personal finance, and guess who is in the studio? It is Charles himself. Hi, Charles. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. You're yeah, wearing your uniform today. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, yesterday, as uh, stockbrokers, uh, mm. we honored one of our own. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just permit me just to mention his name. Oh, please. You know, founder of FCMB, mm -hmm. you know, the Grandmaster himself, uh, Otumba Shubomi Balogo, you know. And um, he has impacted so much on most of us in the capital market. So yesterday he was he was finally taken home, mm. you know, as an Obolu Abi in Ijebu. Mm. So it, since Monday till yesterday, it has been honoring, honor him, honor him, honor him. And then we think um, the whole Nigerian should, you know, understand what that man stood for and mm. the impact he had on the Nigerian capital market and the economy as a whole. All right. Uh, of course, that, that was more like a celebration, if you permit me to say that. That's true. I'm moving on from there. We've been looking at money anxiety for a while mm. now. Uh, hopefully, we're rounding off today on that conversation. Yes. So let's take it from where we left out the last time. Yes, it's, it's quite interesting. And I've had a lot of people who call me and say it's too theoretical, you know, and all that. But like somebody said in the studio here, that what really struck him was, you know, when he wants to open his bank statement. <laughs> It gets that anxiety, mm. and for him, he could resonate with that. So that is just one of the symptoms mm. of that money anxiety. However, we are not saying money anxiety, financial anxiety, is a disorder. People display that kind of behavior basically when they have another underlying mental issue, just general anxiety. Any little thing, they are anxious. So when that comes to money, also, they will be more anxious but we are saying we have looked at some of the symptoms you know the causes that are impacts too money anxiety can impact your professional life because when you are working and you are always anxious about salary has not come i've not seen my alert my rent is due my this my that you know you are anxious it will affect your productivity and the research was done to show that most workers over 80 percent of their working time they are worrying about money mm. so what happened to that organization <clears throat> that organization is stressed out because the workers are also stressed out in terms of uh, their finances and their money issue you could also have <laughs> a dysfunctional family if there is always money anxiety from the father the mother and that will also affect the children mm. and that's why so one of the causes of money anxiety is children will grow up in an environment of lack because they believe that that is how it is. So even when they have enough as adults, they still have that scarcity mentality. So all these are just some of the signs. The, the impact, mental health-wise, can affect you. You don't sleep well. And that's why some of the recommendations, some people have said, if you see a psychiatrist, not a psychologist type around, they can prescribe drugs for you. Mm. Drugs that can help you to sleep and also antidepressant drugs. But for we as financial therapists, we don't always recommend drugs because we are not medical doctors. So we look at cognitive behavioral therapy where you want to change your mindset, how your psychology about money. So that takes me fully now to the tips how to cope with money anxiety. Mm, bring it on. Yes, and one is changing your perspective you shift your perspective change your psychology about money your attitude towards money let it be positive even when you don't have money with you but just believe that as long as you do your work you do what is required of you you will attract this money and i keep saying before you don't pursue money you attract money then have this abundance mentality don't be so afraid of the future that ah this money they are paying me now it should not be enough then stop the blame game ah if my father was a rich person if my father has taken me to school or if my mother has done this you know and all that take responsibility for your own finances mm. then you know that yes whatever happens to you it is all your own fault then you now see that you are facing the issue squarely and gradually you'll be coping with this money as there are a whole lot of um, 
a ways on how to cope with it. You can look at it this way again. Increase your financial literacy. Improve on it. Understand budgeting. How to manage your money. Because if you know how to manage your money, you will not worry so much about it. Then your income. Try to make yourself adding, adding value to where you are working. So that they can increase your money. That will go a long way to reduce some of your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can do again, practice what I call mindfulness with your finances. Be cautious about it. Don't be afraid of looking at your bills when they send them to you. Whether it is electricity bill, NEPA bill, or your bank statement. Somebody has even said, visualize that when your bills are coming, visualize yourself that these are checks that have been sent to you mm. and just be just show that gratitude that these bills are coming because you have the funds to pay for them visualize that positive attitude now let me put in yes you talked about adding value to where you work yeah so that the, the management can see reasons to review <coughs> your salary right so that it reduces the anxiety the pressure yes. now in a situation because i love being practical here yes. no, no nobody who works in you know in, okay let me say this uh, let me say it this way no right thinking person wouldn't want to add value to wherever he or she works now in a situation whereby you're adding value and the management is not seeing reasons to add to your salary or review your salary what happens Yes, that I agree with you. Yeah. Now, if I don't use this kind of example, maybe using politicians, a governor comes and tells me he paid salaries to civil servant, he built roads, and I'm saying, uh -huh. is that not your work? Is it your money? <laughs> and again, it's not even your money. <laughs> mm -hmm. This civil servant have work. So when you are doing what is expected of you, for me, you've not added any value. If you don't go the extra mile, and it is obvious. The organization cannot even deny it. I'll give you another example. A young man came, he was looking for a job. They told him they are bad. He said, No, this amount is too small. And the problem the organization had, he had the solution. And he just told them, I can only come twice a week. This, this, this. They looked at him. Said, okay. When he came, the big problem they are having, that one day he came, he was able to solve it. And the HR was saying, Ah, ah. You know? So they had no choice than to be to his uh, test. That is the kind of hidden value I am talking about. Though all of us cannot be exceptionally good, mm -hmm. but in your own little way, try to see how you can do things to improve what you are doing. And of course, management will see and they will review. Of course, you, you don't, your, your management or your company does not make you become financially independent. For you to reduce your money anxiety, your money worries, you can look for other ways to increase your your mm. income we are stockbrokers will tell you diversify your portfolio multiple streams of income another way you can cope with money anxiety is do a lot of exercise when you are healthy physically you will reason very well <laughs> Yes. Are you serious right now? Yes. <laughs> do your exercise. Do part of it. I don't really think people will want to agree with you on this <laughs> because money solves anxiety. Let's be practical. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's so, but you see, it is not only those who don't have enough. Maybe their salary is very small that suffers money anxiety. Even those that you think earn so much, they also suffer from money anxiety. So we need to learn how to manage our money manage our debts these are practical things you need to do but on the medical side because your mental health is at stake if you keep worrying anxiety and all that and before you know what you are depressed mm. and depression after two weeks you know you are sad once it's more than two weeks it's no longer sadness again you are depressed before you know what suicidal tendencies and we have seen so many cases like that i as a practitioner as a stockbroker I deal with a lot of retail investors and I see the complaint and we try our best apart from the finances taking care of the finances we also look at their emotional health because if your investors are not healthy they won't continue the investment 
So we have to keep coping with money anxiety. It's something that is there. You cannot run away from it. But it's for us to face it squarely and have some healthy habits. I've said exercise is very important. Meditation is also very important. Understanding your purpose, why you are here, is also important for you. Don't worry so much about the future. Be positive about whatever transactions you are doing. Just believe in that. In fact, I don't want to even go spiritual or religion. We are told that the Almighty will knows that provide he knows, all he your, knows your needs. Uh, knows your needs. Yeah. So if you believe in Him and He's the creator of this planet, then He's a God of abundance. Everything we need today on this planet Earth, He has given it to us. It's just me and you, plus Debbie, I mean uh, Uche, because of our greed, our fear, we want to outsmart the other person. All the resources we need today on this earth, we have it. No child will go hungry today if world leaders will do what is expected of them. You will see prosperity, prosperity. Even in Nigeria today, you can see that money anxiety is an increase now because of what subsidy removal inflation i've been told by some institutions that um, one they will say 30 percent another one said 25 percent okay and people are really worried somebody said tomatoes to buy is no good area again <laughs> even rice even beans you know so and people get we keep worrying ourselves somebody said he, he went to the market to buy some few things what he spent I think uh, two weeks ago, and what he's paying is 100%. Hmm. He's worrying about it. And if he keeps worrying, he's affecting his health. So we are saying, you don't need to keep worrying and worrying. How do you cope with it? That is, should be our focus. All right. Uh, quickly, just before we wrap, we wrap up, there was something you said initially that caught my attention. You said, you said do not pursue money, attract money. I have, I'm not going to lie, I've heard that before, <laughs> okay. uh, especially with the perspire to expire uh, okay. motivational speakers on yes. social media. I don't pursue, I attract. Good, but let us put that in practicality. How do you attract money? It's um, very, very interesting. You know, you say attract don't pursue money attract what is the, the practicability of it look at it this way you take action to attract money mm. when we tell you attract we were not telling you just sitting down imagining mm -hmm. that the money will now flow to you yes but look at what happened you want certain amount of money first of all you pray about it or you know, let's say you visualize it you visualize it, you prealize it, then what's the next step? Actualize it. You have seen it vividly what you want. And of course, you know that there is a supreme being who gives us everything. You connect with that element, that supreme being. But you need to move, take action. That is where the actualization comes in. You want to increase money you are earning. And you know that what you get from your place of work, your 9 to 5 is not enough. Then, look at other skills that you have. Or that same skills that you give to this organization, how you can give it to another organization without, you know, affecting your normal organization. There's a lot of time. I've seen people who just one or two hours they work in this place. In the weekend, they also rest very well. So it's for you to prioritize your timing, time management. This same skill that you have, you can replicate it in so many other organizations. And you will earn money from it. Mm. So you will have attracted. And once whatever you focus on, what I would like you to know, becomes a reality. If I have enough, I'll just give you one short example. Somebody was saying he wants to advertise or yes is the book he wrote and i've been thinking how he's going to do it unknown author they, they now called him for a presentation just to talk 
about finances. Mm. And as I was talking about finances, towards the end, he now mentioned, well, I wrote a book, this, 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 this that, you know, and the seminar ended. As it was going out, a national newspaper, the reporter who attended that program, approached him, said, sir, you made mention of this in your book. Can you be a guest? Let me interview you. And that was it. <laughs> she interviewed him, and the next day, he saw that interview on a national newspaper. I decided getting calls. Before he knew what, he was able to sell over a million copies of that his book. And he has written it. And I remembered that he wrote it down somewhere in his vision board. And that I want to sell one million copies of this my book within this particular period. And it happened within that time. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you just sign to the universe. But he visualized, he prayerized, and he actually did what? Actualized. That is the action. He was able to attract it. Thank Visualize, you. prioritize, actualize. <laughs> Let's not go perspire to acquire <laughs> to require. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Charles, for coming on the show today. Uh, it's really nice seeing you again, actually. You know, we usually call on the phone, but having you here, amazing. Yes, Thank, thank you, you very much, um, Debbie. Let's let producer just try to understand. I loved being in the altar stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that off camera. Okay. All right, it is still I brand daybreak.